In a world often captivated by fantastical creatures and the idea of alien life on other planets, endless discovery is awaiting us here on Earth. In fact, scientists have mapped nearly all of the Martian surface, but less than one quarter of our own seabeds. And when 80% of Earth is taken up by oceans, that's an incredible amount of undocumented and unexplored stuff. New species are discovered all the time. In 2023, hundreds of new organisms were new to science, including a silent frog, pygmy squids, and an electric blue tarantula. But more recently, scientists have discovered not one or two, but maybe hundreds of our own alien-looking species in an underwater mountain region off of the coast of Chile. The discovery occurred in an area that remains largely unexplored and was led by chief scientist Javier Solanes, a marine biologist at the Catholic University of North Chile. The exploration began at the beginning of 2024, aboard the Schmidt Ocean Institute's Falcor research vessel. The Schmidt Ocean Institute has been going since 2009 with the aim of advancing global marine research. The team explored the Salath y Gomez, Nazca and Juan Fernandez ridges, a 2,900 kilometre long underwater mountain chain made up of over 200 individual underwater mountains or seamounts that were created by volcanic activity. The area stretches from Chile to Rapa Nui otherwise known as Easter Island. The area is a biodiversity hotspot due to a couple of influences. It's isolated by a large oxygen minimum zone, the Atacama Trench and the Humboldt Current System. So using robotic underwater vehicles, or ROVs, armed with lights and cameras that could reach 4,500 metres, the team focused their research on 10 of these seamounts. What the team found, let alone captured on camera, was nothing short of astonishing. Among the myriad of discoveries were creatures that may as well have come from another planet, including some that resembled living constellations, moving around the ocean like tumbleweeds. Purple, green and orange sponges were seen bursting from rocks, with colonies of sea urchins, crimson crustaceans adorned with spindly legs and spikes, and plenty of organisms illuminating the depths with their bioluminescence. However, one creature stood out in particular, and you're about to see why. A walking fish boasting googly eyes and a skin texture resembling crochet. This walking fish is a type of sea toad, which aren't actually toads at all. They're a family of deep sea anglerfish, which you may be familiar with due to this guy. Good feelings gone. This newly discovered sea toad has textured doily skin made up of tiny needles. This is likely to serve as protection for their sensory organs. As if the appearance wasn't remarkable enough, the sea toad was found walking along the sea floor. This behaviour is thought to be an effective hunting strategy and an energy efficient means of movement. In other words, unlike other fish, it likely uses less energy walking than it would swimming. This finding was the first sea toad to ever be found in the southeastern Pacific, making it a brand new species. But a brand new species means there's going to be a huge chunk of knowledge that's missing. So researchers have emphasised the need for further research into their ecology and behaviour. As if all the new species weren't exciting enough, the team managed to map several previously unknown seamounts, shedding light on the unique ecosystems that thrive within these submerged landscapes. The tallest of these seamounts measured 3,530 metres from seafloor to the peak. 
these seamounts are home to an array of species found nowhere else on Earth, making their preservation crucial for biodiversity conservation. These underwater oases are vital due to the unique fauna and flora, and what's more, researchers found that each individual seamount hosted its own unique ecosystem. While this is incredibly exciting, it does make them very vulnerable. Despite the significant findings from this expedition, this exploration barely even scratches the surface for what's beneath. Although new amphipods, corals, sponges, urchins, crustaceans and a few new mountains isn't too bad going. So what else is out there awaiting discovery? Well, subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated on any future discoveries, as well as the latest in all things wild. 